Hello and welcome to Winman. Today I'm going to explain the setup and use of the build to hold functionality in Winman Cloud. Build to hold gives you the ability to invoice stock that your customer has ordered, but then hold that stock in your stores until a time when the customer requires it. At this point the goods can be shipped. Any stock that has been put aside for a customer can only be shipped to that customer. Firstly, you'll need to create a default location where the customer's stock will be held. This is done through the locations module. Click the plus symbol to add a new location. Enter a name, select a location zone and set the availability to customer. You can populate the other fields if desired. To enable the build to hold functionality, go to Systems and Sites. Select the required system and then select Settings. You can then select the Build to Hold option to open the Settings modal. Tick the box to enable Build to Hold and select the location you just added in the default hold location. You can use the Build to Hold functionality on any sales order type or you can set up a specific sales order prefix for build to hold orders. If you would like to do this, then go to sales order prefixes and click the plus to add a new prefix. Enter a code, order type and accounting division, and then tick the build to hold checkbox. Sales orders are added through the Sales Orders and Quotes module. Click the plus to create a new sales order. You will see that the Bill to Hold option can be ticked on the Financial tab. However, if you choose the Bill to Hold Sales Order prefix you just created, then the Bill to Hold option will be ticked as default. Once you have added the Sales Order header record, you can add items to the order. Click the plus on the items section to add a product. You will see that the build to hold option on the options tab has defaulted in, as has the hold location. The build to hold checkbox and the hold location can be changed if required. Once the sales order is ready, click firm to commit it as normal. Once the stock is available, you can create a shipment and select sales order items from the sales order or from multiple sales orders. Once you finalize the shipment, any bill to hold lines will be moved to the selected bill to hold location, while standard shipment lines will be dispatched. The invoice can then be created through the shipment itself or via the sales invoicing module. The bill to hold stock will now be showing on the stock tab of the product hub. You can see that the availability is set to customer. This stock is now only available for the specific customer that the bill to hold order was created for. This stock can be moved to a different location if required, but it will still retain its availability of customer. Once the customer is ready to receive or collect their stock, you will need to create a new sales order. This sales order will be linked to the original bill to hold sales order. This is done on the financial tab. You can then add the bill to hold item or items using the drop down option next to the add item button. Finally, firm the sales order as normal. You can then create a shipment for the sales order, either by using the ship action against the sales order or via the shipments module. The customer's bill to hold stock will be linked to the shipment. Finalize the shipment once the goods are ready to be dispatched or collected.
If you need any further assistance with the build to hold functionality in Winman Cloud, then please contact the support desk or your account manager. Other videos and how-to guides can be found at help.winman.cloud.